Hi, I'm Tom Scarpello of Revology Cars, and this is car number 45, a 1966 Shelby GT350 in Wimbledon white with Guardsman blue stripes. So for this car, the client wanted an original appearance, but he wanted to personalize it a bit. So he chose the classic Wimbledon white and Guardsman blue color combination. Um, now with the wheels, he, he went with a non-standard wheel. It's, um, you know, it's an American racing torque thrust wheel, which was obviously one of the classic wheels of the 60s and looks great on the early Mustang. This car has the Coyote Gen 3 engine. It's 460 horsepower, 420 pounds-feet of torque. Um, it's uh, backed by a six-speed Tremec close ratio transmission. One of the things uh, about the Gen 3 engine, it's a lot more sensitive to turbulence in the airflow. Whereas with a Gen 1 or Gen 2 Coyote, you can run an open element air filter and not really have a problem. The Gen 3 engine breathes through a, a new air box that we've designed here at Revology. So we've created this fully sealed air box uh, that draws in cold air from outside the apron. Uh, rather than from inside the engine compartment. So you get a cold air, you know, dense cold air charge, uh, and then that air is isolated and it's not turbulent so that the mass airflow sensor uh, is happy and it, it's able to provide the information that the uh, engine management system needs to, uh, you know, constantly adjust that fuel air uh, mixture to be optimal in all operating conditions. Unfortunately, the interior treatment back then was really not that sophisticated. You had a plastic uh, interior panel that had um, a, a lot of screws, Phillips head screws. So it, 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 it just looked kind of homemade. Uh, so we've actually developed all new panels for the rear of the 6566 Fastback, where there used to be 18 different parts. We've uh, narrowed that down to seven different parts. And by having fewer pieces, it means fewer um, surfaces that could potentially rub together to cause squeaks. Uh, it also allowed us to eliminate the exposed screw heads. So we use a modern push pin type and these panels just push into their brackets so that you don't see the exposed screw heads. And of course we'll wrap them either in a high quality premium automotive vinyl or uh, leather. Uh, so they, they look like modern panels, but obviously with the, the original style. So just one of the uh, details that honestly takes a ton of work and maybe it's not that noticeable until you really look closely at it. But one of the many things that really differentiates a Revology Mustang, a Revology Shelby GT from uh, something else. 